How are you being blessed? Why don't you drop it in the comments? We'd love to read it. This last week, I received many words and notes inviting me and Lisa to have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I was struck when some would say or would write, have a blessed Christmas or a blessed New Year. Now, these words don't roll off my tongue as easily, yet they strike me as far more valuable. To be blessed, according to the dictionary, is to enjoy God's divine favor and his protection. This certainly is what I want for my new year and especially for the year 2021. Yet the praying or pronouncing of blessing over one another is, for most, and I include myself in this, a lost art. Now, on account of this, we might find it uncomfortable to receive and to respond to a blessing that has been given to us and even more awkward to give one ourselves to another. I'm Pastor Dean. Thanks for joining me here at the Lakes for Good News Reflections. It's Wednesday, January 6th. It is a beautiful day in Wapaka. For chapter day, we're reading 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and I invite you to read the entire chapter. For this reflection, I've chosen chapter 5, uh, <clears throat> verses 23 and 24 from the New Living Translation. Now, instead of just reading it, though, take a breath. I'm going to pray it and declare it over you, the listener. And I invite you, as long as you're not driving a car, just to lift up your hands as if to receive a gift. To put yourself in a position to receive a blessing. And I'm going to lift up my hands as if I'm giving a gift while I pray this over you. Now may the God of peace make you holy in every way. May your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless until our Lord Jesus Christ comes again. God will make this happen, for he who calls you is faithful. Amen. Abraham, the father of the faith, was blessed to be a blessing to all nations. Scripture, of course, is filled with texts like this one, which are prayers of blessings that we can then use to pronounce over and pray over others. Who can you bless through prayer? Now, we don't need to reinvent the wheel. Uh, we can simply use and read Holy Word, the Holy Word of God, and say it and pray it over those who are on our heart. So, who can you bless this new year? Mm -hmm.